hello everyone so in this video we are going to understand about the ct which we call it as a common table expression and this is widely used in a complex query okay it makes our life easy for the complex query from a readability perspective okay so first let us try to understand the ct then we will understand with the example so that we will be having a better understanding okay so what is ct ct work like a virtual table okay so suppose you have a requirement where actually you want to store your query result on a temporary basis on one table okay so instead of creating a one table what actually you can do we can use of the CTE okay so CTE will create one virtual table it actually get created during the execution of the query when you use the query and eliminated after the query execution it created during the execution of query and eliminated after the query execution so this is how the CTE work okay let me give you example so that you will be having a better understanding okay first let us try to see what is the syntax okay so syntax is very simple you have to write with CTE as okay and with you have to start with with cts bracket open and all the query you have to write and after that the query you have to write okay this will be the query and you have to close and you have to call it as a select star from ct and you have to execute this whole together with cts and whatever the complex query right you will write here and this is how actually you will call it okay now let us try to understand this more okay so suppose I have one table okay I have one table if I'll show you I have one employee table so let's start from employee one if I will do this is the employee one I have okay now what actually I want as of now in a CT I want to store this query result okay so what I will write with CT as okay select star from employee one employee one okay and I will what I will do select star from CT okay so with the example what we understood CT will get created during the query execution okay so whatever the employee one result right that will get stored into the CT on a, a temporary basis and uh, how actually we have to call we have to call it together and it get eliminated after the query result okay you can see we are calling select star from CT means in this CT all the select star from employee one details got stored and you can see the output we are getting okay now if I will only call the select star from CT I will get the error because it get created during the query execution and eliminated after the execution so this is how the CT work on a temporary basis whatever the query result you want to store into the virtual virtually you can use of the CT okay so this is how the CT works okay so generally here I have given you example for the one table but generally you can have a multiple joining operation complex queries and all and that result actually you want to store on a temporary basis in a one table so instead of creating a table you can use of the CT and that CT actually you can call it as a multiple time okay for taking example and this make our life easy also okay i will give you one example and uh, based on the example you will be having a better understanding okay so suppose uh, generally in an interview people ask like find out the third highest salary of the employee okay so if i will show you if you have to find out the third highest salary what is the first step you will do you will try to sort your whole data based on the salary from a descending to the ascending from a highest to the lowest right and from there actually you have to select the third highest salary okay so for that we have a row number concept that we already seen right so let me show you how actually we can do that so i will write select star row number okay row number over order by salary descending okay i'll give as a name as a rn from employee one table okay now if i will execute this okay what actually it will do it will sort my whole salary based on their descending order like from a highest to the lowest you can see 75,000 is coming then 65 then 55 then 50 and all okay and it assigned one rank like 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay you can see 75,000 is the highest salary so for that we have a rank 1 65 is the second salary for that we have a rank 2 for 55 we have a rank 3 okay now what we have to do so, uh, so if they are asking you have to find out the third highest salary so you will filter where rn equal to the three right so what actually you can do this whole result first you will try to store into the 
one virtual table okay with cts if i write with cts okay in this ct i am storing the whole result query result okay if i'll call it as a select star from ct the whole query result will get stored into this ct okay now what i have to do i just have to filter this data so i will write where rn equal to the 3 for the third highest salary for the third highest salary if i'll execute this you can see the third highest salary is employee id 7 and the salary is 55000 now if they are asking the highest salary so if you will write where rn equal to the one you can see the highest salary is the uh, employee id 8 depart and their uh, salary is 75000 if they are asking the second high now if they are asking about the second highest salary you will write search up from city where rn equal to the 2 okay now you will get the second highest salary so this is how actually you can solve any kind of the problem with the help of the ct and the row number right now let us try to see how actually you can create a nested city now let us try to see nested city nested nested city okay the syntax is very simple first you have to write with ct as okay and here you will be having a query okay and uh, suppose you have to create one more city okay so what you will write comma okay and you have to give another city name city one s okay and after that again you will open a bracket you will write the again query okay you will close it and again you will call it as a select star from ct1 or the ct okay so this is how the nested ct works okay let us take a one example and let's try to understand it more okay so i have a two table if i'll show you i have a two table first table is employee table and second table is department table okay now what i will do i will create one uh, if i show you data i have all the employee related, related details and all the department related details and department and the department id both is present so we can perform our joining so let us try to use of the nested city how actually we can write so what i will do i will create one city with city as okay in this city what i will store i will store the employee id details and their salary and their department okay and from the employee one table okay means in ct i have a employee id salary and the department result okay now what i will do i will create one more uh, query okay ct okay ct one name i am giving and here i will having all the information of the department okay now if i will show you select star from ct one if i am doing okay you will be having all the information of the department if i will execute you will be having all the information of the department okay in a ct one now if i will write ct only ct so here you will be having information of the all the employee right the employee id salary and the department okay so ct contains all the employee related details ct one contains all the uh, department related details okay now what actually we are going to do we are going to perform a joining okay so what i will do select stuff from ct in a join in a join ct1 on ct dot department equal to the ct1 dot department id okay if i will do this and if i will execute this i will get the whole information about the employee the employee and the department details and the department name okay so this is how actually we can use a nested ct okay I hope you got it. That, that's it in this video. Thank you.